Ich habe wieder Besuch. <lacht> so, jetzt runter, ich muss hier weiterspielen. Katzenbesuch. Was ist das da? Kaffeehaus. Das ist ein krasses Kaffeehaus, Alter. Gibt's für das Pusper? <lacht> ich habe jetzt Pupsa gelesen. Tasse Kaffee für den Energie für den ganzen Tag. Über die Katze im Kaffeehaus. Gata gesehen. Gata ist noch nicht einmal ein Jahr alt, aber es ist bereits jetzt schon. Neu geht das Kätzchen. Jetzt mal, wenn du gestern einen Kaffeesatz die Zukunft voraussagen, kommt sie hervor und das. Ah. Hurra. Wo ist die Katze? Oh, da. Ich wollte da Kaffee kaufen, das ging nicht. Alter, sie schaut halt aus dem Nahen richtig gut aus. Verdammt. My lady, who are these two? Oh, ich mag auch ihre Stimme. They're travelers that I met on the street just a moment ago. They happened to notice that you were all searching for me, so they helped me hide. I see. In that case, you two should scram. There's nothing here for you. Wait a sec! Who the heck are you? And why are you shooing us away? I'm Miss Dunyarzad's bodyguard, here to see that she returns home safe and sound. <sighs> My lady, let's get going. You've been gone for so long that your parents are worrying themselves sick. And if I refuse to go with you? It'd be easier for the both of us if you cooperated. But if you insist on not going, then I'll have to carry you like a sack of potatoes. Hey! Dunyarzad already said she doesn't want to go back! Why are you still pushing her? Stay out of this. You don't understand the situation. Sorry, my lady. Even though I'm your bodyguard, your parents are my employers. I have to answer to them. Alter, die Augen sind halt verdammt nochmal der Hammer. Diese stechenden blauen Augen, leck mich fett. Aber der Scheppel, da stört mich. Ich meine, kann die überhaupt zu so kämpfen? How much? Weißt du, was SCP sind? Nee, keine Ahnung. Wait, what? How much more do I have to pay you to become your employer? So you never listen to my parents ever again. Double? A triple? Give me some time and I'll get that much. Is this a Duda spiel? My lady, this isn't about Mora. I don't know what you think of us Aramites, but let me say this. I like Mora, but I'll never go against my principles. That's why I'm here looking for you. Sure, it's an order from my employer, but my conscience was also telling me it's the right thing to do. And knowing your health, carelessly running around like this is gonna hurt ya. For the sake of those who love you, don't be stubborn. No, you're wrong. I'm aware of my limits, and I know what I'm doing. Honestly, the only people being stubborn right now are my parents. And they know perfectly well that it makes no difference if I'm at home or not. I still won't accept reality. And every time I bring this up, they just change the subject. Dia, you've been living with us a long time already. 
This should be old news to you. <sighs> Dia, I know it hasn't been easy for mother and father, and I'm grateful for everything they've done for me. But there's someone else in this world I'm also grateful to. Because she saved me. The love I have for her is the same I have for my parents. This is my life and my last chance. So I want to do something meaningful. My lady, are you sure what you're doing now is meaningful? Yes, I'm sure. At least, it is to me. <sighs> Fine, I won't ask you to return home anymore. But let me make something very clear. I'm only doing this because I respect your determination, not because I agree with you. Thank you, Dia. <sighs> Sorry for being so rude just now. My nerves were acting up. And I even brought up your payment in such an offensive way. Uh, don't worry about it, my lady. I did say that I like Mora. Besides, that's our next topic of conversation. Today's little excursion caused such a ruckus that every single bodyguard at the estate was deployed. It wouldn't be easy to hide things from your old man. Since this definitely won't be your last escapade, here's a little tip. You should at least make it look like your room and things are still in order when you leave. Also, you'll need someone to cover you for when you're out and about. So, I'll let you hire me, my lady. This way, everyone wins. As for the pay, let's say mm, half of what your father pays me. We can settle the bill when we return to the estate. Okay, deal. Yay! Looks like they've reached an understanding! <laughs> Das wäre doch eine Katze, die du ganz zu Hause hättest. Wenn wir jetzt pur nach dem Aussehen gehen würde. Ja, aber Alter, die wäre mir doch zu wild, Mann. <lacht> ich meine, du magst einfach was falsch und du bist. Du bist Katzenfutter. Dunja sah das alles in Ordnung. I'm fine, really. I just feel a little tired now that things have calmed down. Auf die sich grauen. My lady, <lacht> stop trying to look tough. We're already in a tavern, so let's rest up and grab some grub. I'm sorry for worrying you two. If you don't mind, I'd like for you to join us. Sure! After you rest up, we want to hear more about Lesser Lord Kusanali. Ruh dich kurz in der Taverne aus. Ich will einen Döner haben. Der Scheiß kostet halt 6 Euro, Mann. I haven't seen you in nearly half a year. Word on the street is that you're a bodyguard for the Homayani family now. <laughs> Don't you find that kind of work boring? Nah, you get used to it. How about a menu over here? You got it, huh? Isn't this little Miss Homayani herself? We don't get to serve personages like you very often. We'll be sure to prepare our very best. Oh, die hat ja auch die eine Krankheit, oder? Thank you, sir, but there's no need. I don't have a lot of mora on me, and I really ought to save as much as I can. But please bring these two the best food you have. They're my new friends, so I want to be a good host for them. Schon gut, wir essen dasselbe wie du. Ja, wir sind bereits super grateful für alles, was du uns über den Lesser Lord Kusanali erzählt hast. Wie wäre es mit unseren Kokonut-Charcoal-Cakes? Sie sind unser Signature-Snack und sie sind teuer. Schau, andere Kunden da oben essen jetzt ein bisschen. Scheiße, das sind richtige Raps oder Tortillas oder was weiß ich, wie man es nennt. Äh, Palmer kann beim Essen wälderisch sein, wie erstaunlich. Hey, come on! Palmer has personal preferences too, you know! <lacht> Dem Dea etwas zu essen bestellt hat, beginnt ihr wieder mit. Dunyarza, äh. we asked a lot of people when we first arrived, and almost nobody was interested in Lesser Lord Kusanali. So, what made you want to follow her? Well, remember when you asked me if I knew how to meet the Dendro Archon? Even though I don't know how, I 
think I've actually seen her before. So weiter geht's. Huh? Really? Yes, it was when I was a child. At the time, my illness had kept me bedridden for the better part of a year. I was stuck inside and couldn't make any friends, and my parents did their best to find treatments for me. But even then, the Akasha didn't have any helpful information. My younger self no longer had any hopes or dreams. One flare-up was so bad that I was in a semi-conscious state for several days. Then one night, I woke up alone in my room. I was terrified. My body was paralyzed. Even if I cried, there was no sound. At that moment, an ethereal voice spoke in my mind. Dunyarzad, don't be scared. You don't have to cry. Dunyarzad, don't be scared. You don't have to cry. Huh? Who are you? How do you know my name? Um, how do I explain this? You might not be able to understand, but actually, I know everything about you. Really? Of course. I know that you're scared of thunder, that you hate taking medicine every morning, and that you love counting the petals on your mom's skirt. Wow, you really do know everything. Junior is odd. Is there anything you want? Want? Not really. I, I can't go anywhere or do anything. Huh? But aren't you a child? All children have wishes. Tell me what you want, and maybe I can make it happen. Then, uh, can you make my illness go away? Oh. I'm sorry. But I'm not powerful enough to do that right now. Then, can you be my friend? After that, the voice said, Okay, I'll be your friend. Although my body was suffering during those days, that voice encouraged me and told me many wondrous things. Beyond my window was the flourishing Sumeru city. Beyond the city was a lush rainforest. And beyond that was the wall of Samiel, deserts, and all of Tevat. Once I finally made it through that bout of illness, I couldn't hear that voice anymore. I told my mother about it, but she said that I must have been dreaming. But I know that that voice wasn't a figment of my imagination. Before that, I had never heard of Tafat. Die der niederen Herrn Kusanali ist. Du denkst, dass diese Stimme der niederen Herrn Kusanali ist? Yes, for sure. If it weren't for that voice, I would have never grown curious about the outside world, nor would I have learned how to read and enjoy so many books. That voice sparked a desire for wisdom. It had to have been the Dendro Archon. I've been hoping for a chance to repay her kindness. In fact, I was running around today to help prepare the Subzerus Festival for her. What's the Subzerus Festival? Ey, tut mir leid, aber ich kann das Sub-Zero Festival nicht anhören, ohne an Sub-Zero zu denken aus Mortal Kombat. Sub-Zero, Sub-Zero. <lacht> It's Lesser Lord Cusinelli's birthday, which was the day that she was found by the sages. It's actually an old holiday that originally celebrated Greater Lord Rupertabata's birthday. When she passed away, the holiday eventually became a celebration of the Lesser Lord's birthday. I heard everyone was overjoyed when they welcomed her back to Sumeru. In those days, the festival was a huge deal. But because of the Academia's influence, people have gradually lost interest in the festival. The Academia actively participates in Sumeru's many holidays dedicated to Greater Lord Rukudabata. But when it comes to the Subzerus festival, forget any funding. They practically act like it doesn't exist. 
Maybe they see Lesser Lord Cusinelli's birth as confirmation of Greater Lord Rukadabata's death, so they're reluctant to celebrate it. Aww, but that's awful! It is. It's absolutely terrible. Sure, the Greater Lord founded Sumeru, but hasn't Lesser Lord Kusanali been the one quietly protecting us for the past few hundred years? <clears throat> Just remember that we're still out in public. Don't get too carried away now. I know that people over by the Grand Bazaar still hold the Subzeros Festival to this day. But I hadn't met any of them before, so I was never able to contribute. But recently, I made a friend there who also follows Lesser Lord Kusanali. I gave her my savings because I want her to throw a wonderful festival this year. That's the least I could do for Lesser Lord Kusanali. Hold on, my lady, does this friend happen to be Nilu, the one who sends flowers to the estate? Yes, that's her. Hmm, I saw her leaving the other day with a nervous look on her face. It seemed like she was hiding something in her arms. Did you give her something? Uh, yes. Uh, initially, I didn't have much Mora prepared, so I had Nilu sell one of my skirts. I've agreed with Nilu to meet up at the Grand Bazaar today, and see how things are coming along. Dia, would you accompany me? Sure, that's quite the trip, though. I'll carry you. No, that would be too much, even for you. You might as well just accept the lift. If I let you walk, who knows how long it'll take us. And if anything happens to you, then I'd really never hear the end of it from your father. Can we all come? But of course. Nilu will be thrilled to hear there are more people interested in Lesser Lord Kusanali. Ich find's lustig, wie die Übersetzung sagt Anbeter und sie sagt eigentlich die, die damit interessiert sind. Take it easy. Taverne verlassen. So, schauen wir doch mal, was jetzt da kommt. Jetzt treffen wir den Nilo, die will ich haben. Naja, und die Katzenlady gerade auch. trapped at home, but you made it in the end. Uh-oh. But if Dia's here, that means you got caught, right? You could say that, uh, but everything worked out. She's on our side now. <laughs> uh, not completely. Oh, and who are these two? Oh, meet the Traveler and Paimon, my two newest friends. They're visitors who just arrived at Sumera City and are looking for information on Lesser Lord Kusanali. Die Akademie lässt einen negativen Eindruck. Ja, schon, ne? Auch schon das mit dem Tagnari oder wie der Typ heißt. So your followers from another land? Tagnari? Um ehrlich zu sein, nein. Oh, really? Well, that's okay. You're still invited to the Sabzeris Festival. <laughs> By the way, Dunyarzad, we've already started decorating the Grand Bazaar. It looks spectacular, thanks to your generous contribution. You're very welcome. It's the only thing I could do. Do you still have enough Mora? Uh, probably? But don't sweat it. We've already finished renovating the stage. Come on, I'll show you. Das ist im Baum, ne? Ja. Das hält nur das Regiment der 30. Das tut ja auch ein bisschen Bazaar jetzt. Wolldeckenladens. Kann ich hier einkaufen? Auf bald. Okay, dann kaufe ich nicht ein. Last time I was here, the stairs were full of holes. 
The stairs were nothing. A little while ago, we discovered that the tree above the stage had a huge chunk of bark ready to fall off. Mr. Zubair was worried sick. We reported it to the Academia many times, but they never sent anyone to deal with it. We didn't want anything bad happening, so we were going to cancel all the stage performances. Warum kam denn niemand, um das Problem zu lösen? Oh, probably because it was the theater asking. The Academia looks down on performers like us. They probably think it would be best if the theater closed down completely. We can't let that happen, though. Not only would everyone involved in the theater go hungry, but then we wouldn't be able to hold the Subzerus Festival anymore. Thank the Danger Archon for doing your Zod. But the more she gave us, we hired someone to patch up the tree, and we also gave the stage a much needed makeover. The stage is going to be even prettier when it's festival time. I can't wait for you to see it. And I can't wait to see you on the stage. You've been practicing so long already. It's almost time for your dream to become reality. <laughs> it's our dream. I'll do my best for the two of us. Nilu, what are you going to be doing at the festival? She'll be dancing the dance of Subzerus, the most important performance at the Subzerus festival. Dunyarzad, have you told him the origin of this holiday? I only told them about the Greater Lord and Lesser Lord so far. Okay, then I'll tell you two about how this holiday came to be. According to legend, the Sabzerus Festival was originally the Goddess of Flowers' birthday celebration for the Greater Lord. A long, long time ago, on one of Greater Lord Ruka Devata's birthdays, her friends threw her a celebratory banquet. Some of the gods got drunk. One started playing music, and the Greater Lord started singing, so the Goddess of Flowers began to dance. As she danced upon the grass, countless beautiful Padisars began to bloom wherever she stepped. Those brilliant purple flowers became her dazzling stage. All the gods clamored, Oh, if only time could stop at this very moment. Klingt so, als hätte sie Spaß gehabt. Of course they did. When people mention the gods, they always think of the Archon War. But Sumeru's gods also had happy times. Although they aren't around anymore, they're preserved in our tradition of dance. This outfit I'm wearing is apparently based on how the goddess of flowers looked. Though we're just tiny people compared to the divine, we still have to do our best to make sure that the birthday girl feels loved on her special day. Nilu, you of all people will definitely be able to convey our well wishes to the Dendro Archon. I also noticed that you went the extra mile and scattered Padisaras around the stage. <laughs> they symbolize the Goddess of Flowers, after all. It's just a shame that all the real Padisaras went extinct after her death. Yeah. The Greater Lord brought forth Padisaras in memory of the Goddess of Flowers. But she ultimately could never truly replicate that beautiful purple. Thinking about the Goddess of Flowers dance makes me wish I could have seen it. If my stage were anything like that, uh, I'd be thrilled if I had just two real body Saras on the stage. Uh, so, Traveler in Paimon, what do you think? Interested in the Sabzerus Festival? All of Lesser Lord Kusanali's followers will be there for her birthday. It'll be a good opportunity for you to learn more about her. Ooh, Paimon thinks that's a great idea! Du wirst doch nur Spaß haben, oder? Du wirst doch nur Nilo tanzen sehen, nicht wahr? Of course Paimon wants to watch. Those two things aren't mutually exclusive, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so how about we all attend the Subzerus Festival together? Gut, wir sind uns einig. Dunyarzad. Let me show you which stage decorations we've picked out so far. Traveler in Paimon, if that doesn't sound interesting to you, then feel free to explore the area. Everyone at the Grand Bazaar loves Lesser Lord Kusanali, and we're all looking forward to the Sabzerus Festival. In that case, we'll take a look around!